Hey guys, this is Zoe, and today I'm going to answer 15 random questions about myself. Now, I did not make this list, so I don't really know what to anticipate. Um, so let's just hope that they're not too absurd. <laughs> If your five-year-old self suddenly found themselves inhabiting your current body, what would your five-year-old self do first? <laughs> Number one, I'd be like, where did my boobs come from? This is sick. Um, I don't, I, I don't know. What would adult me do as a five-year-old? Uh, yeah, I guess I would just feel myself up all day. <laughs> is that weird? Number two. If you were arrested with no explanation, what would your friends and family assume you had done? Uh, this is fairly simple to answer. They would 100% assume that I was doing something like drunk and disorderly, possibly breaking into a boy's house, possibly getting into a fight. Not the first or the last. Yeah, they would definitely think that I got drunk and hit someone. Sometimes you have to snatch a bitch's weave, that's all I'm saying. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Number three, what's the weirdest thing a fan has ever done for you? Um, okay, so this was kind of bizarre. I actually got this manila envelope in the mail and there was a bunch of like pictures of me printed out, a handwritten letter, and the guy wanted me to sign all of them and send them back as like a gift to himself. So I guess that that was pretty weird. I was like, well, this guy has my address, so I'm worried. Uh, also, holy <laughs> like someone wants signed pictures of me and they went out of their way to go somewhere, print them out, and then mail them to me. Like, if you told me that they were gonna cut off both of my arms if I didn't go to the post office and get stamps, I'd be like, you know what? I'll use my legs to eat, it's fine. Number four, who is your celebrity crush? Um, where do I begin? I literally love so many men. Ryan Gosling is just like too easy. Like, holy shit, he's so hot. They actually casted him in the notebook because he was too average. I'm sorry, uh, what? And also, I'm obsessed with guys that have these like masculine jaws. So Penn Badgley could literally beat me with a spiked bat and I would say thank you and ask him to do it again. Number five, are you single? Yes, I'm single um, because I am perpetually friend zoned, which is wild for a female. But uh, yeah, it seems like guys really just want to pretend like they're dating me and have me think that we're dating. But then when I finally ask them if they're like dating me, then we're just bros. So, no, I'm not single. Uh. I'm a bro. I'm somewhere in between. Number six, how boy crazy are you? <laughs> well, I went on a dating show, <laughs> for starters. So that should give you a good glimpse into my boy craziness. I wouldn't really say that I'm, I'm a little boy crazy. It's, how, how do I describe the way that I am with boys? I don't get crazy until they make me crazy. I'm not like always like on the hunt for a man. Honestly, normally I'm a repeat offender. I always end up going back to the men that I started with. It's like, just can't get away from them. So it's not like I'm always like on the hunt for a boy. I'm not boy crazy in that sense, but when I have them and I feel them slipping away, uh, that's when the crazy comes out. So. That's when you need to start locking your doors because I'm creeping in and I'm jumping in your bed. Number seven, what's the craziest thing you've ever done? <laughs> um, <clears throat> that actually goes perfect with the last question because it had to do with a boy and also a repeat boy. So I had just finished hooking up with this boy, right? So I am vulnerable, <laughs> which we don't like to admit. And he said something, I don't remember what, I was pretty drunk. Something alluding to what I thought was him calling me a slut. So he closes his door and walks out. So I'm just sitting there like, 
Oh yeah. I'm a slut? Well, I'm gonna be the craziest f***ing slut you've ever seen in your whole life. Uh, oh god, I can't believe I'm admitting this on camera. I'm gonna like go to jail. Um, well, <laughs> he had a banana on his <laughs> on his desk, so I smashed it up all over his bed. Just smashed it right in like a crazy wild ape. And um, I cut up his IDs. Uh, I cut up his socks. There was a water bottle. I dumped it all over his bed. Then I went home. He's never addressed it. Number eight. We finish the interview and you step outside the office and find... Number one. The office. This is my home. And find a lottery ticket that ends up winning $10 million. What would you do? I would have a heart attack and die. I would immediately have a brain aneurysm and I would drop to the floor. But if that didn't happen, I... I'd go cash it. I'm not morally, like, above anyone. Like, I wouldn't be, like, looking around for this person who dropped this ticket. Like, I'd be cashing that shit. And I would buy all of the things. I'd buy boats. Um, I would buy, like, a thousand French bulldogs. Um, I'd buy hair extensions because I recently got my hair cut and now I have an accidental bob. And... A limitless supply of Italian hoagies. Number nine. What do you think about when you're alone in your car? These are dark, dark thoughts that you don't want to be with. <laughs> when I'm alone in my car, I'm either like singing myself awake because I'm like on a destination somewhere and I tend to doze. Safety first. Um, or I'm like really angry or sad. Like when I'm sad, I like to go for rides in the car and like listen to my sad music because there's nothing that makes you feel less sad than, uh, you know, something that makes you more sad. And um, yeah, so usually it's pretty dark, twisty thoughts. It's like, what if I just jerk this car right into a tree right now? Then what? That's, wow, those are my car thoughts. No one let me have a license. <laughs> it's only gonna be used for bad. Number 10, what's your favorite 90s jam? These are all just going in perfect order. When I am in the car and I'm listening to music, it's always 90s music. Like I love 90s alternative. Like I'm all about Dave Matthews and Counting Crows. I love Third Eye Blind. Counting Crows is my favorite band though. Like diehard fan. I actually met Adam Duritz this summer and it's the only thing that I like hope to hang on to if I ever get Alzheimer's. But my favorite 90s jam, like my favorite song, ugh, I mean it depends on my mood. If it's like, if I'm having the dark and twisties in my car, then it's Round Here by Counting Crows. But if I'm like ready to go and I'm like psyched up, then Semi Charm Life by Third Eye Blind, that's my shit. I almost get those lyrics drunkenly tattooed on my body at least five times a year. It hasn't happened yet, but I think that 2018 might be my year. Number 11. If you could be any animal in the world, what animal would you be and why? I would be an otter because, number one, they're so cute. Everyone loves an otter. Like, you can't look at an otter and be sad. You just can't. And also, they swim, you know, like, they're aquatic, but also they could go on land. So, like, you know, they're multifunctional beings. And also, like, they hold hands. That's so f***ing cute. Like, you have little otter love. You hold hands with your little otter pal. And if, you, if you're a boy otter, I'm pretty sure that they like find a nice pebble to give to the girl otter. Like, oh, that's so cute. That's the closest thing I will ever get to an engagement ring. But, sorry mom. No grandkids coming your way. Number 12, what was the last gift you gave someone? It was actually my mom's birthday yesterday and um I got her a sweatshirt this is not exciting at all she did love the sweatshirt but I am an asshole kid and didn't get her a gift in advance um she made a big mistake by having me but we did go to the mall together and she picked it out and she loved it so that was the last gift also the gift of being her child which I give to her every day best gift you can have if I say so myself. Number 13, what were you like in high school? I was the biggest f***ing bitch 
you would have ever had the displeasure of meeting. I was so angry and like, I didn't really have an outlet for my anger exactly. So I just kind of like let it fester and I didn't care if people liked me or not. Like I would, I just wanted to fight with everyone. I literally just wanted to hit everyone, everybody. I didn't care. And I didn't care like if I seemed like a mean girl, like I just was mean for the sake of being mean. I would like seek out ways to be mean, which is the opposite of me now. Cause girls meet me now and they're like, oh my God, you're the sweetest girl I've ever met. And I'm like, oh, that is because I was literally the devil. And then I had to turn myself around to get into heaven. Like I simply had to. I, I probably haven't even made up for it by now. Like I definitely still have a hot seat in hell for how high school me was. I was also like, popular so I thought that I could like get away with anything because I was a cheerleader and I had like a football player boyfriend which you think is all that matters when you're in high school and uh then life hands you your big fat ass on a platter and you're like I must change my ways. Number 14. What's the last thing you watched on TV and why did you choose to watch it? The last thing I watched on TV was um Top Chef. I'm currently having a marathon with myself in between filming. Uh, I love Top Chef. That's actually one of my favorite things to do is to cook. Um, I'd say I'm pretty good at it as well as cleaning. If anyone would like to marry me, I'm, I'd say I'd be a really good housewife. Um, but I'm watching it because I've watched it for so many years. It's like, I, I have to keep going. You can't just abandon a series. I'm also in love with Padma Lakshmi. Like, holy I also really like to guess what they're going to make and what they're going to do with it. It's like I can always kind of sense what's coming next. That's because I watch way too many tasty videos and I also watched way too much Ina Garden growing up. So like, should have gone to culinary school. Number 15, what are your turn-ons? Some of my turn-ons would be, um, I like the frat boy look, uh, as you all know. So if you could have a haircut um, that's like short on one side and then has that like flippy guy over here, you know the one that I'm talking about. The one that all the frat boys have. Uh, that really does it for me. Someone that could deal with uh, my psychosis, which comes out from time to time. Like when I'm drunk and I want to fight with you, it's like, deal with it. That turns me on. Dental insurance. That's pretty hot. Um... I like boys that have good teeth. I really like when boys are funny. If you can make me laugh, then there's a there's a good shot that you can make me your bro. Because no one will ever date me. So if you guys like this video, make sure that you give me a thumbs up and you subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time.